Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of the Blue Devil Broadcast here at Huntington High School. I'm James Rizzelli. And I'm Markel Marcotsis. And we thank you for joining us today as we have so much great information to share with you guys. Yes we do James, because as we head towards spring, not only does the weather get better, but so does everything else. Exactly Markel, and I don't know about you, but I really need a tan. I mean I'm starting to blend in with the white walls in the main lobby. Yes you are James, and I feel you. But do you even know how to tan? Run out in the sun and bake like a potato. It's about all I do. Oh my gosh, no, James, that's how you damage your skin. But don't worry, I bet a lot of people didn't know that either. And that's why we have Lily Michelson in her segment on how tanning works. Hi, I'm Lily, and we wanted to take world woes in a new direction this week. Many of us came back to school tanned, so we wanted to inform you guys about how tanning works and how to take care of a sunburn. Tanning is caused by exposure to solar UV radiation that causes genetic damage to the highest layer of your skin. The skin tries to prevent further injury by producing melanin, which results in a tan. Now how to avoid a burn and what to do if you get burned. If you burn easily, I recommend using a higher SPF. Sunscreen reflects UV radiation, which results in not burning. If you get a burn, aloe vera gel or an after sun cool down gel is highly recommended to treat it. If your burn is very severe, you may need medical attention. Remember, vitamin D is very important for you and getting a tan is great, but apply sunscreen and stay safe. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Lily, and thank God I saw that. I would have been nice and crisp by the age of 50. Well, now I know what I'm going to get you for St. Patrick's Day, James. What's that? A nice bottle of sunscreen. I could use that, but uh, you, know what I, you know what I'm going to get you? What? I'm going to get you a leprechaun. Why? Because, girl, <laughs> you need a friend. <laughs> <laughs> you, need, you need to take a look at some of these amazing Irish jigs that we saw from students around Huntington High School for St. Patrick's Day. Is St. Patrick's Day overrated or underrated? Significantly underrated. Great holiday. I think it's underrated because St. Patrick's Day saved all the snakes if you know the history. Overrated. Overrated. Underrated. Overrated. Man, that thing's underrated. Underrated. I feel like no one thinks of it as like a real holiday, but the leprechauns are cool. Are you Irish? No. I'm not even Irish. I, I don't like St. Patrick's Day. No. No. Okay. No, not at all. Can you hit the Irish jig? Of course. James, would you look at that? All those people could dance way better than you. Okay, all right, let's not go that far. It was good, but it was not that good. Okay then, go ahead, dance for the camera. They won't see you in the frame anyway. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna dance in front of the camera, but if you want to see me dance, then come on down to the, this year's Dance-a-thon, where me and Markella will be emceeing the event. That's right, James. Make sure to show up for this amazing cause using the QR code on the screen above. I am so excited. Who do you think's gonna win the limbo? We're doing the limbo? Obviously, it's a dance with dance Tom Markella, but if you want any chance of winning, you better hope that limbo bar is up at the ceiling. <laughs> that would be madness. Speaking of madness, as we head towards the middle of March, the most exciting and thrilling event of the year occurs, March Madness. That's right, James. College teams from all around the nation compete in the NCAA tournament to see who is the best in college basketball. Let's send it to Nick Scafani for more on this tournament. Thanks, James. The official March Madness bracket releases this Sunday, March 12th, and the top 64 college basketball teams will be selected to play in the tournament. The bracket is broken up into four sections, East, West, South, and Midwest, and each of the 64 teams will receive a ranking 1 through 16. The 1 seed will face the 16, the 2 versus the 15, and so on. There are six rounds, including the round of 64, 32, Sweet 16, Elite 8, Final Four, and the heavily anticipated championship game. Despite the rankings, anything can happen. In recent years, we've seen number one seed Virginia lose to number 16 UMBC, and just last year, number 15 seed St. Peter's made it to the Elite Eight. Last year's winner, Kansas, as well as Houston, Alabama, and UCLA are projected number one seeds this year, but Purdue is in the mix as well, heading into the Big Ten tournament. I'm Nick Scalfani. Thanks for joining me. Back to James and Markella. Thanks, Nick. I can't wait for all the action to start. Me too, James. Go Blue Hens. I'm pretty sure Delaware didn't even make it. Well, we'll see about that as we get closer to the tournament. But before we get there, we have to celebrate World Language Week. So exciting. That's right, Mark Allen. Unlike us, there are plenty of people who could speak different languages. See. Si. Wow, that was incredible. 
<laughs> I know. Maybe you should stick to dancing to cultural music rather than trying to speak it. I mean, Shakira said it best. These hips don't lie. And with that, let's send it to Danny for this week's weather report. Cold, slippery one. Friday will be 47 degrees with a low of 33. Saturday will be 44 with a low of 34 with some rain in the afternoon. Sunday will be 47 degrees with a low of 32 with some AM snow showers. Better watch out for those slippery puzzles or you're going to find yourself in a different planet and trust me, those aliens will be just as confused as you. But anyways, get those rain jackets and pray a car doesn't soak you with water because it's going to be rainy. I'm Danny, and this has been Danny's Weather. Back to you, James and Markella. Well, folks, that's all for episode four of the Blue Devil Broadcast. Once again, I'm James Gisele. And I'm Markella Marcotes. See you guys all at the dance-a-thon.